he's extremely forgetful now, um, in the 1950s, and he's been amazing. It's called the photo album. That's a, that's a cruiser. Yes, it's a cruiser. Yes, yes, Glasgow. Yes, I was there. I was on the Glasgow. We went to where? Grand ship, yes, the Glasgow. I was there, wasn't I? Malta, was it? In 53? Really? Yes, yes, you're right. It's coming back to me. Oh, Nobby, he was the one he was. That night in Algiers, we saw sight. No, no more tea. Who did you say you are? Oh, yes, of course. Dad. And you are? My daughter? Of course. You live that far away. Where did you live there? Why? This is very nice. Well, well, the glass go away. This is a more light-hearted thing. It's inspired by Ellis Lowry's painting of a man lying flat on top of a wall. When Mr. Brown turned up his toes, hung up his paper clip, and rose to that high office in the sky, his colleague saw explain, explain, Oh my, he makes a lovely call. A pity not to share in his city. They made some cash for having stuff. And Mrs. Brown said, Fair enough. The taxi is quite a rag, included Brown's habitual swag, making him an installation, a work of art, a fine creation, and so he lies in splendid state on the embankment near the tape. <laughs> But this is inspired by a picture by Howard Hodgkin, who I don't know if you know his work, it's very abstract. Strong. Abstract. It's called Alice Through the Picture Frame. She climbed into the canvas where pigment hung suspended in a river of oil, the colours vibrating in molecular and optic modes, viridian striking vivid sparks off the cadmium red. Permanent rose, protesting against accusations by the earth colours of false claims of everlasting fidelity. The blues nostalgic for the days when they were kings, and lapis lazuli the jewel in the palace crown. Disputes arose among the yellows, the Tuscan stalwarts maintaining their supremacy over flowery saffron. Naples yellow swaggering and bragging with its proud. Flashy nouveau cabians loud in their assertions of their monetary value. Others spun among the colours, taking no side, her eyes rainbows as she swam through the painting in a daze, forgetting the drab world beyond the frame, the world of home and grave. Like Tony Blair without his flair, like dignity deflated. Like a hippie who has lost his hair, I'm frustrated. Like Bond without his arrow seven, like a fiery infiltrated. Like God without his heaven, I'm frustrated. Like Quasimodo without his bells, the bells, like a world that's uncreated. Like Satan without a hell, I'm frustrated. Like a sprinter who's run out of track, like a husband who's berated, like poor Granada without a rat, I'm frustrated. Like Cameron without his smile, like cups uncalculated, like a politician without style, I'm frustrated. Like a weight washer watcher who's gained a pound, like a feast not celebrated, like a square peg in a hole of crown, I'm frustrated. Like Satchmo, if he had no horn. Like a balloon that's not inflated. Like blue movies that have no horn. I'm frustrated. <laughs> like a celebrity not on the list. Like a ring that's just gold-plated. Like a lover who has not been kissed. 
time frustrated me. I could rhyme like this forever, like an ad without an item. I'm frustrated. Are you never going to make that cup of tea you promised half an hour ago? Milk, no sugar, glass of lemon as well, please. Come on up, love. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 